it's Captain Blocket, and we are back with a brand new video. And today, we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Immersive Railroad mod. Last week, we did a tutorial, not a tutorial, a mod review on the Immersive Railroad mod. Today, we will be doing a tutorial. Which I think is a good idea, because it can be sometimes confusing to use. So, we're going to be doing a tutorial on it. Because I want to, and I think it would be interesting. And I know I just also came out with a tutorial uh, on, uh, what was it? It was, um, I think it was. Friday. Friday last week. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing a tutorial. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to use the immersive and uh, railroading mod and what mods you will need to use it. Uh, I already did. I did already say what mods you would need to use it in the last video. But in case you didn't watch that video, uh, you will need immersive railroading. And you will need immersive engineering. Uh, immersive engineering, so you can get the ethanol right here, so you can power the diesel engines. Uh, but now let's just hop right into this tutorial. So first, as always, because you obviously know train the tracks to go. Let's go 100, 200. Uh, so we're going to be going 200 and placing that there. So now, obviously, as you also know, to make a train go, you need a locomotive. Um, we will be using, let's go with this, this one. What? Ha which one has the most horsepower? This one, okay. Um, we're gonna be using this diesel. As you can see, it's also really detailed. Here, also, also really detailed, also really detailed, all that stuff. But uh, now, as you can see, I'm trying to move it, it won't go anywhere. So, what you want to do to fix that is go get your ethanol, get a bucket of ethanol, and fill your inventory with it. And then fill this with it. Fill the uh, fuel tank of the train with it. That'll be enough. Now what you want to do to start it, you want to press plus the uh, number pad plus button. Then that'll start up. As you can see. Um, but it calls for different measures for the, uh, um, steam trains. So unlike that one, you can just put in your fuel and go. But the steam trains require a lot more, um, work put into it, as you must know. Uh, so grab your coal. You're gonna need a lot of coal. We're going to be using a small train. Um, then grab your water. Um, then grab your train, whichever one you want. It varies on how fast it will go, though, like how fast it will uh, heat up. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, we'll be using a smaller train. Which one? Where's this one? Which one is this? I think... Yeah, it's definitely this one. It has a player. So, we'll be using this one, because it's heats up fastest. We'll be, we'll be placing it there. Go in your inventory, get all your water buckets ready. Go in here, and 
put all your water buckets in filling it up. Now you don't need nearly as much water as other uh, sink trains, but once again, it's always nice to have extra. So now your train will heat up, as you can see right here, bottom left corner. It'll go up once it hits 100 degrees Celsius, then you can drive the train. Now, for this one, it's already. You need to wait until it hits the green, so it'll be green when it's ready, and then you'll be able to drive the train once again. You can do that, and it'll heat up faster. It's also a lot louder. Okay. Crap! You get the point. You get the point. It's it works. That's all that matters. And then if it goes off, it'll just stop. And then you can just place some tracks underneath it and get back up the tracks. But um, now if you want to hook up freight cars to it, I'm just gonna grab this uh, hopper thing. You just back into it. So click that. Just back in there, slowly, obviously. There you go. So now you're all hooked up, and now what you can do is you press number pad 8 to drive forward, number pad 5 to go back to the center where you can go stop, number pad, no, number five, yeah, number pad 5, number pad 7, so you go up brakes, number pad 4 to go down fast, and number pad 1 to go down gradually. Number pad 2 to back up, and number pad 3, 6, and 9 don't do anything. Uh, number pad minus does the bell, number pad 0. Clearly doesn't work. Actually, what's the default? Uh, if you go, if you go into controls, um, number pad enter. Number pad enter is the horn. I like to set it to number pad zero. So and you can do the horn. Um, so then it's different for taking like uncoupling. So you take your couple up. I don't know how to get it, but then you right click, uh, shift right click, and now you should be able to uncouple it. Now I have no idea. Um, it should be this one that I set. Yeah. So now, if you wanted to, once again. Hook it up, just back into it, and you're all set to go. Um, then, um, there's also different varieties of tracks that you can choose from. You can go straight, crossing, slope, turn, switch, turntable, custom curve. Um, then you can go standard, narrow, Minecraft and model and for now. Uh, direction flexible, I don't know what that does. Position fix, I don't know what that does either. Um, rail bed fill, that would be for if you're building on top of something. So, like if I go over here, I can't build on top. But if I take rail bed fill and put it, let's say, oak wood, I can build on top. But then, if you break it, you'd have to break the oak wood manually. Um, next, uh, rail bed. You can put gravel, because that's what it normally is. And now you have gravel underneath your tracks. And then, this, will you can 200, goes up to, yeah, it only goes up to 1,000. For how long you, your track can be, so that's one kilometer in Minecraft. Um, 
and then style default concrete ties so then that would be this then you can go rails only then you can go default again that would be that so these are the two different I um, meant three different variations of track that you can use for, go from and then what you now want to do so after some time steam would have built up if I even gave it enough time yep steam has built up as you can see from the bottom left corner the PSI is the steam then you just move it forward now it doesn't have enough steam to go fast so it's not going to go that fast but uh yeah, when it goes fast, they're really efficient. Anyways, let's stop this train. Now, fun things you can also do are build little stations, like how I built right here. Uh, there's different types of coaches. Uh, this is passenger. This is also passenger. The inside of this one looks like this. Like the Hogwarts one. Hogwarts Express, and this one is a default normal one that you normally see. Then there's also, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Storage containers, and there's different types of transport containers as well. Um, so, once again, that's all that I actually have for this tutorial. Oh, wait, hand car, you don't need anything for it to move, you just place it down. Because it's a manpower, you can just start making it move. It only goes up to 20 kilometers an hour, though. Which is really slow. Now, we can also make it hook up to these things, the freight cars, but it can't pull up. Because it's not powerful enough. So, as you can see, can't push or pull. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>